Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new, Hello, welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, because I'm the flower that blooms at night. And I thought I'd start off my little sci-fi series and plan to do this month of May with the original Princess Leia. She has been such like an icon and inspiration to me for such a long time. Like all throughout my childhood, Princess Leia from Star Wars was like the goals, the like highest bitch. And Carrie Fisher, rest in peace, has always been such a role model for me. She's such an incredible actress and I just really want to do a Princess Leia transformation, so um, here we are, starting off my little sci-fi series. I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other videos you want to see from me, and don't forget to subscribe to our bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. There should be one new video every single Monday, 8pm at Greenwich Mean Time, and um, like I said, it's the start of my little sci-fi series, so expect a lot more sci-fi looks, but I have so many like hauls and I bought so much clothing recently, so also expect normal content as well as um, sci-fi inspired transformations. So um, let's get on with it, shall we? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So I'm gonna be starting this transformation off in comfortable clothing, since you know, white Princess Leia dress plus a heavy amount of makeup doesn't really go. I let my lesson for my white Marilyn Monroe dress. For hydration, I took the Rose Mist Spray from Give Face Cosmetics and then went straight into color correcting my beard area. So I used the beard blocker from Give Face Cosmetics and then I set that down using the apricot setting powder, which is basically an extra step in hiding the kind of blue gray tones that would show through with a five o'clock shadow. And my skin felt like extra dry and lackluster, so I did also a prime using the Becca backlight priming filter, just kind of on the high points of my face, just to add that like lit from within glow. For my base, I just went in with my general drag foundation base. So I used the Krylon TV Paint Stick in the shade 3W, topped that with a little bit of the Dior Air Flash, and then I used Ivory for my highlight shade and 10W for my contour shade. I then set down my face using the W7 Banana Powder. I've really been into banana powder recently. I mean, this one's a little pale and maybe leaves a little bit too much of a yellow cast, but but it got the job done though and kept my skin looking nice and flawless and matte. I did also layer a little bit of the Coty Loose Asthma Powder just kind of under my eyes and the high points of my face and then we're all set and ready for the next step. I just quickly threw on a brow and then for my eyes I took the Coffee Palette from Winky Lux. These shadows are supposed to smell like coffee which I don't really smell until you start like blending it out but um yeah, this eye looks really simple. I just took a nice kind of more neutral toned brown and just buffed it through kind of the upper crease area, just nice and soft. And then I took a slightly deeper shade of brown, not the one I'm not pointing to, girl, and just deepened kind of the crease and then smoked that along my lower lash line. And that's pretty much the eye look done. I took the vanilla shade kind of over my lid just for a little bit of brightness and then threw on some winged liner and set it down with some black eyeshadow. And then it took kind of that gold shade on the inner corner of my eyes just for a little bit bit of brightness but overall this eye look is super simple super quick and kind of like a drag basic go-to to just add a little bit of smoke and definition to my eyes. From here, I just heavily bronzed and contoured up my skin using my Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour Kit. And then I went in with the Coral Spectrum Palette from Zoeva and just heavily applied blush. You guys know I love blush, so today was no exception. I piled that shit on, girl. For highlight, I first spritzed my brush with a little bit of rose spray and then went in with Summit from the Anastasia Glow Kit and just made my skin look nice, gorgeous, and glowing and basically drenched my entire face in it. And I was really happy with how it looked. For my lips, I first lined them with a BH Cosmetics lip liner and then filled it in with a Velvet Teddy from MAC. And then just for a little bit of like definition and kind of gloss and extra kind of dimension to my lips, I used the MAC Myth Lip Glass. And then, yeah, that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this transformation and thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to show you the rest of my sci-fi looks. Thanks for watching.
Marcela. 